Hey, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. I'm Gilda Lee's granddaughter. We just came out from New York. I, I thought my mother Cindy dismissed everyone employed here. I am the curator. Oh, okay, are you with the real estate company or? I am the curator. I'm uh, Tim, Nancy's husband. Uh, this place is stunning. No smoking, please. And no flash photography once we've begun the tour. The tour? The tour. Fantastic. Gilda Emmeline Lee, born in Pacoima in 1902. The weather that day was reported to be cold and clear as a bell. But no better sanctum could be constructed for the life of a woman who would ring out against all who would silence her. God, it's beautiful. From humble origins, we might all hope for such purpose. Please, follow me. Young Gilda was only 10 when her father broke ground on this property. But even then, she saw this home as her destiny and made her mark. We see it. My mom always said that if she came into this room without stockings on, Grandma would whip her with a switch. Ouch. Now look at this place. It'll never sell. It'll sell. It will. I know you don't like to look at it this way, but when it does, that's 10% for us. That'll go a long way. Maybe a month in New York. Okay, well, I'll get a raise. You'll get a call back. We'll be set. All the others were happy enough to live quiet lives, passing on nothing more than a sugar cookie recipe to the next generation. Young Gilda had grander aspirations. God, I remember her sitting for that one. Of course, she did it over Easter, so she had an excuse to ignore us all. My mom spent the whole weekend crying in the car. So you mentioned sugar cookies earlier. Is that included in the tour? They are not. This tour sucks. Here she is, the president of Mauritania. The diplomatic courier through the Khyber Pass. The wife of the President of the Red Cross. And His Royal Highness, the King of Switzerland. All passed through these doors and sat with Gilda and experienced her fine hospitality. Grandpa Harold. He had a heart attack when I was a baby. I've actually never seen this. I'd like to keep this. I'm sorry, that's part of the permanent collection. I'm sure it is, but the executor said I could pick two things, one for myself and one for my mom. I'll need to check the register at the end of the tour. Also, Switzerland has never had a king. That's the thing about Switzerland. Oh, yeah, she's right. Yeah, it was a trivia question last week. See for yourself. Right, but I have no idea who that is. I mean, that's Grandma, but how am I supposed to know who that is? That is the King of Switzerland. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's not worth it. Okay. She just told a lot of stories, you know? Like how she met the King of Switzerland, or how she was a good mom. I thought you liked her. What? I don't know. I mean, you always had these fun stories about Grandma Gilda's house. I just assumed you liked her. 
Sure, I liked her. I mean, I was her favorite. But I haven't seen her in 10 years. It's kind of like growing up with a vampire, you know? Eventually, you look back and you think, man, she sure was covered in blood a lot. Are those fingernails? Oh, my God. Ugh. Ugh. the early work of her favorite young disciple. She wasn't a perfect person, but she loved you so, and saw herself in you, like a mirror through time. I wish I had known her better at the end. I wonder what we would talk about. Things are so difficult with your mother, aren't they? She doesn't understand, does she? I don't want to move out of New York. I just need a little time to figure things out. It's hard to leave the place you love. Your grandmother knew that better than most. Curious cat. a car with a big trunk. Oh, please. Hey, it's not safe here. We need to go right now. Jesus Christ. Sir. What can you Sir. Sir. Sir, please. Sir, please. All of them left her alone here to die. Except for you? Except for you. We're gonna leave right now, and we are never gonna talk about this again. If you wanna go, you can go. What? Pay your respects 